So these are some of the eggs of our orchard swallowtail butterflies. A female will lay about 100 to 300 of these eggs in a sitting, and she generally lays them underneath the leaves. Females only lay their eggs on very specific plants, which are called their host plants. So once our eggs hatch, they hatch out into a tiny little caterpillar. The ones that we have on display here are actually quite old. These are a few weeks old now. So once the egg hatches, the caterpillar tends to eat its little egg membrane for a little bit of nutrients. And then once it's done that, it starts to eat on the rest of the host plant. As you can see, this plant has been nibbled on all of the little leaves. So these caterpillars normally take about four to six weeks to grow. And while they're eating these leaves, they're also um, intaking toxins from the plant. So poisonous species of butterflies become poisonous by eating this particular plant when they're young. This particular species we have on display here, the orchard swallowtail, is not poisonous, it's only feeding on citrus trees. So once these caterpillar is about six weeks old, it gets ready to form the chrysalis. So once the caterpillar is large enough, it forms the chrysalis. This is often mistaken as a cocoon, but cocoons are actually only made by moths. And this little chrysalis here is made out of the caterpillar's skeleton and its skin. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar kind of melts its body down into a liquid, but it keeps key structures with, within its body. So it keeps its airway, its guts, its heart and its brain, and it also has little structures called imaginal discs which contain all of the DNA that the caterpillar needs to make the butterfly structures, such as its antenna, its legs, and its wings. So after about 10 to 14 days, the caterpillar has transformed into a butterfly inside the chrysalis, and it then encloses, as you can see this butterfly has done. So once the butterfly has eclosed from its chrysalis, it hangs upside down. When it first comes out of the chrysalis, it is very wet and its wings are crunched up into kind of balls. So what it does is pumps a bunch of fluid from its abdomen into its wings and the wings fall out in a kind of parachute formation. It takes about two to three hours for the butterfly to dry off and for its wings to be completely straight and dry. And after two to three hours, it climbs up high, jumps off and hopefully starts to fly. 